You know what's on my mind? Our gadgets. And I truly believe they're listening to us. Let's talk about it here on my daily thought bubble. The other day, I was having a conversation with a friend of mine, and we were talking about uh, tripods for cameras and uh, cell phones and everything. And I noticed something a couple of days later, suddenly I'm getting a lot of ads for tripods on all of my social media. And I was thinking to myself, whoa, how did they know I was looking for a tripod? And now that I think about it, there is a high probability that our gadgets are listening to us. I mean, think about it. Um, from Alexa to Google to Apple to Bixby, they're all listening to us. And I just activated my Bixby right now by just saying the word Bixby. Okay. Let's see what happens. Okay. So, so our phones are on standby. Even the gadgets like Alexa, they're on standby and they're waiting for a keyword. And if you have an Alexa in your home right now or in your office while you're watching this video, it might turn on as soon as I say, hi, Alexa, are you listening to me? And it could turn on because I know for a fact that if I say that on my Samsung phone, if I say, for example, okay, Google, are you listening to me? I'm designed to wait and stand by until I'm activated. Like when you say, hey, Google, the status indicator in your device lets you know when I'm activated. When I'm in standby, I won't send what you're saying to Google or anyone else. Yeah, right. For some reason, I don't know if I believe that anymore. Um, so they're saying that they're just on standby. So that's Google explaining to me that they're not really listening or not sending information to anyone. But at the same time, what guarantee do I have that they really are not sending any information? Given the fact that it's happened so many times that I have a conversation with someone and suddenly it pops out on my social media. It's not the first time it's happened. So that's Google. Let's try Bixby. Uh, if you have a Samsung, this is Bixby. Hi, Bixby. Are you listening to me? I hear you loud and clear, Chris. So apparently, my Samsung phone hears me loud and clear. But that's the point I'm trying to make. Now, technology has made it to the point where it's almost artificial intelligence, where they're listening and waiting for certain words. And in this case, those are the key words. But what makes you think that these phones can't just simply include another keyword that you're not aware of. For example, if um, a consumer brand like maybe um, let's say Coca-Cola, for example, wanted to find out how many people talk about Coke or Coca-Cola or Pepsi, for example, let's say Pepsi wanted to know how many people are talking about our product. And so they talk to Google and say to Google, can you, um, sorry, see, it keeps turning on. So, can you, for example, it talks to Google and it asks Google to please uh, alert me when people are talking about my product, Pepsi, for example, and let me know how many people are talking about it all over the world without informing us that Google is waiting for that instruction. And they can do that without us knowing that they're doing it. And Pepsi will automatically have all this information on how many people are talking about them. Let's take it a step further. If a government wanted to find out if people are complaining about them or they wanted to subvert people's privacy and human rights, they can maybe say, I want to know how many people are complaining about the government by putting together a certain bunch of keywords. And then Google can send that info to the government, say, here are all the people that are complaining about you and now they can track them down exactly who they are and where they are and that's scary i remember that book by george orwell entitled 1984 which was 
talking about the idea that Big Brother is watching. A lot of the millennials might not even know the reference of Big Brother to the book of 1984, and that's where it came from, where he was saying in this book that we're going to be watched by our governments with cameras all over the place, and everything will be illegal, and uh, it'll be a draconian society. And in this case, that could very well happen, but not just cameras. Worse, our phones listening to us, to every word we say, watching out for key words where they can now arrest us and silence us and do everything they want. Or even brainwash us by sending us information based on what we're talking about. Um, and that's the scary part about technology. If you guys don't know 1984, you should read that book. It's a really amazing book. And I believe that what's happening in that book 1984 is happening now. And especially with a country like China, where the government has a lot of control over all the private companies, can you imagine if they said to Huawei or to Xiaomi that I want all your phones to be able to listen to people that are against our government? And if you hear them say a certain keyword, and they do this already, by the way, on chat, where the government looks at the keywords you're typing on your chat groups or on your social media, and based on those keywords, they can actually go to your house and invite you for questioning. What makes you think they can't go a step further by listening? And that can very well happen. In other words, 1984 is here today in the year 2020 and onwards. So when you don't think your gadget's listening to you, think again. Because just when you think you're alone, you're probably not alone. And that's my daily thought bubble for today. Follow me on IG at I am Chris Tan and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click on the link below and click on the notification bell so you get notified of my latest video. See you guys in the next video. Thanks.